hello and welcome back to another Postbusters tutorial. Many of you were asking for a tutorial about an effect I used in my showreel. The effect we gonna use is Trap Code Form. It is a third party plugin. A link in the description will lead you to it. Now, this is what we going to create. Okay, I created a new composition. To save some time I already have keyed the footage. The first important step is to pre-compose our layer. Go to layer. Pre-compose. Move all attributes. Then create a new camera and a solid. Then go to effects. Apply trap code form to our solid. Go to base form. Let's match the size in X and Y to our composition settings. In this case, 1920 to 1080. For Z, just type in 1. Increase the particles in X and Y. I think 200 should do it. For Z, put in 1 again. Then let's go to particle. For the particle type, let's choose glow sphere. Put the size to 3. Next, go to layer map. Color and alpha. In layer, select our pre-comp. In functionality select RGB to RGB. Map over, XY. Well, thought's basically it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Just kidding. Of course I am gonna show you some more. Let's go to displacement. For functionality select individual XYZ. For map over, XY. Next, fractal field. For the displacement mode select XYZ individual. Now we can displace our particles to create some awesome effects. We can also move the camera around to get some nice looking animations. But this will only affect the particles. Now, let's begin to animate some stuff. Make keyframes for X, Y and Z. Press U to bring up the keyframes. Go to the beginning of our comp and start to play around with the displacement. Let's also animate the camera. Open up the transform settings. Make keyframes and find a good starting point for the camera move. So far so good. Now let's animate the opacity of our layers. On our solid press shift T to bring in the opacity settings. Put a keyframe. Go a couple of frames forward in our timeline and put in zero for the opacity. Now let's animate the opacity of the pre-comp layer. But this time we put in zero on the first keyframe. You can repeat these steps to create a lot of cool looking animations. For the rest, just keep watching. I am sure you will understand what you see without listening to my annoying voice. By the way, what would you think about a new voice for future tutorials? Maybe we can try out a female voice? Let me know in the comments. And please make sure to rate as well. Just keep watching. I will show how to colorize our particles in a moment. Now, 
If you want to give your particles another color just apply a hue and saturation. Here you can colorize the particles. Okie dokie, I hope you had fun. See you soon.